The next thing I want to talk about is video transitions. Uh, and this is, for the most part, you are just going to, you're never going to really edit the PowerPoint too much. There might be some cases, uh, but mostly what you're going to be doing in editing is adjusting the video that comes in from the Logitech camera. So as we go and scroll through the video, we can see here that the video is overlapping an important part of the PowerPoint. I don't want it to the video down here to be overlapping on top of Madagascar. And so we're going to need to add in a transition of when this slide appears so that the video is no longer covering this up. And there's a variety of things that we can do to try to remedy this. But the first thing that I'm going to do is track down when this PowerPoint slide comes up. So I'm just going to drag the scrubber along the timeline and figure out when this map appears. And looks like it's around um, around 2.17. So I'm going to just zoom in here so I can kind of get a closer view of the timeline. And I'm going to hit it you know, just as it transitions from this note slide to this map slide, I am going to do what's called a video action. So what I'm going to do is highlight the video. I'm going to click its asset on the timeline. The reason you would want to select the timeline versus clicking the video within the canvas is that with the timeline, it's easier to just click into it. With the video, it's easy to click and accidentally drag it somewhere. And that's less likely to happen with selecting it from the timeline. But with the video, this video selected, I'm going to go to the video properties. And here we have a variety of different properties that we can do to adjust how this video looks. But what I want to do right now is I'm going to do what's called a video action. So with the video selected and with the scrubber in approximately the right place, we can adjust it later. But uh, this is about where I want this change to the video to happen. I'm going to hit add video action. And it gives us a little pop-up saying how it works. Uh, I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail for you. Uh, and we can see that now there's this yellow bar. Let me zoom in for on it for you. That there's this yellow bar that right now this video it's not changing at all. The only thing that we can see is the PowerPoint changing behind it, which is unrelated. Um, but we can see there's about a one second or a half second, yeah, it's about a half second duration um, of, of this yellow video action. Basically how this works is that the video, this the Logitech camera video, the state of it on this side will be automatically animated to the state of the video on this side. And because they're the same state now, we don't see any differences. But let's go ahead and try to adjust this video so that it fits better within here. We could do a couple different things. The first thing I think I would like to do is crop the video. So I'm going to hold down the control button on the keyboard and you'll see that the circles around the video have now turned into little rectangles or squares. And I can click on and drag to kind of to crop the video a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of get rid of some of the extra space on the sides, bring, bring it in a little bit. And so already it's a, it fits a little bit better in this space. And I can also, now that it's cropped, I can drag and kind of put it in right in the middle here just by clicking and dragging it. And I'm holding down my thumb on the trackpad uh, and using my index finger to just drag it along the screen. And you'll see that as I move it around there's some handy uh, yellow bars that kind of act as rulers. So I can see if I there's a, it sticks a little bit in the middle here as it hits the center of the screen. 
and as you go around you'll see that they pop up in places to kind of help you uh, keep things aligned. And so I, I think I want to have it right here on the right, but it's still a little bit too big for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and drag from one of these corners and that is going to change the scale of the video. And so now it's got a little bit more space. It's got so it's not quite up against the edges. I can use the arrows on the keyboard to fine tune it. If I want it to be right in the center, I can drag it and then use the key the arrows on the keyboard to get it right where I want to be. And I can deselect it just by clicking over here in this dead space. And I think that act, that looks pretty good. It's not covering up the map anymore and it kind of fits well in this empty space over here. So now if we return to the timeline and look at how the uh, how this video action works, we can go back here and see, okay, there's before the video, it's as we left it. But as we go th and get closer, we'll see it animate over the process, over the duration of this video action. The background first. So it happened quick, but you can see as it goes through each frame, it automatically adjusts to the state that we had it on this side of the timeline. So, the, and this can, and as you saw that we did a variety of different edits. We cropped it, we changed the size, we changed the position. We could even change the opacity of the video. Let's say we just want, we didn't even want to move uh, it. We, we just wanted it to be the PowerPoint. Um, I'm going to delete this video action just so we reset it to back to what it was. Uh, I could, add, I, since I deleted that one, I can add a new video action. And in this case, I'm just going to change the opacity. That's, that's how visible the video is. I can drag it all the way down to zero in some cases you might just want to have the narration over a slide so that gives it a nice kind of fade out and we can also do the opposite once we're ready to move on to the next slide if I can find where that is so it's somewhere up here in the future so here's where it transitions out of that map so I can do another video action there's the video action we're on the right side of it that's in the future and so we can bring back the opacity to do just the opposite of what we did earlier. And so if I zoom out using the the scrubber down here, we can look at there's where the first video action was. Play it back. With some background first. Fades out. We can zoom up to here. And there's where it fades back in. So at any point during your lecture, as the slides change, and you might find, oh, I want might want to not have the video here, or I might want to make it smaller and move it to another part of the screen, everything you would do to do that would be through this Add Video Action button over here.